Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to be making today. Isn't it pretty? I love this. I thought it was so cute the way I did that. And then I just did a heart with the love you in the inside. This is, I'm using the new Bouquet of Love Hybrid Embossing Folder and Dies. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's stunning. Oh my goodness. Does that help better? And you put the die in here and it cuts it out or you can have it solid. And I use the uh, Pearl Essence paper and it is oh like it's gorgeous that shimmer shine is stunning now this is um more ivory so i paired it with uh, very vanilla and uh, i stuck it in here open this up yep and then i put the die in here this one here You, got, you get some nice flowers and uh, the labels, but this you put with the cutting side up and it just fits in there. See, it fits in there. And then you just put your paper on top, flip it over, and then try to get it lined up. But oh my goodness, it is stunning. Like if you haven't seen it, like this is um, a piece of paper that I uh, used to cut out the heart for this. This is the one that came out of it, but I didn't want um, ivory in there because it wouldn't show up as much I wanted different color so I just did it in this and then I can use this for a different card so then what I did was I'm gonna put this away so I don't lose anything because you know me I would be good at that then I took my all things fabulous and I used I I stamped this flower in Blushing Bride and then I stamped this in Flirty Flamingo stamped off and then I stamped that one full strength and they line up on each other and I did three of those one two three and I put Wink Estella on them and then what I did is I stamped the flower on this card this one it's just plain so i'm doing it both ways so that you can see whether you think uh, you want to stamp it but i got this sweet strawberry flower here the smaller one and i stamped it on my flirty flamingo cardstock and then i got my punch builder and i punched it out with that flower and I did five of those. Now I 
I took all these leaves and I stamped them in old olive. I think I did two each. And then I cut them out with the die. These, this has dies. This is the flower die. And these three are the leaf dies. And uh, the sweet conversation. I use the Happy Valentine's Day from it. I use the You're Cute and this stamp. I did this one in Blushing Bride on the inside. And then I did this one on top in Flirty Flamingo. And I think that's all I used. Um, now with this, I did this in Blushing Bride, the two of them, and this is in Flirty Flamingo. Now, if you don't have, then you just make do with what you have. Now, I'm getting all this out. I pre-did this. Is I don't know if you can see that, but it is beautiful. So, then I'm going to cut it. Um, cut it. I'm going to glue it down here and the sides are a little bit wider so you can see more of it but there's less space down here so it's not a normal size cut just just be aware of that if you think well there's something sounds wrong here it it's because I cut the sides smaller so it's uh, longer and smaller this way so let's get started. And those are the colors I use, Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, and Old Olive. The, the Happy Valentine's Day was stamped in Flirty Flamingo. So let's get going with my glue. It's hard to believe that we are getting close to Valentine's Day. Like it's less than a month away. Whoa, what happened to January? I'm just like utterly amazed. We Christmas was yesterday, right? <laughs> well, at least it seems it was. I always keep a um, pin handy just in case the glue gets stuck in there so I can open it up. And I did all the way around the edge. And I'm going to put it down. And then I did it around the heart edge too so that it stayed down. This likes to move. I should have had my uh, silicone mat out, but no, why be that uh, organized? I have a certain amount of time when Dominic's sleeping and mommy's at work and I get to, Safira's at school and I get to be down here without anybody interrupting me so I try to do it when there's no interruptions because it is so much harder when there's interruptions I kept them out I thought nope I'm keeping them out normally I put them away because um, if somebody sees them while they're changing bums <laughs> mine get used because theirs are hard to find and uh, yeah so I put them away because I had a whole whack and I ended up with uh, not so many but I'm hiding it underneath my desk so hopefully 
nobody notices. Now this is the heart I cut out where I showed you that it was cut out from. And I put the uh, dimensionals on the back. Oh, well that was not smart. Good grief, Cheryl. Normally this is not a hard part. <laughs> I'm trying to rush too much, I think. Now, I am going to put this, try to get that inside before I push it down. There. Now, I need to put this away because that pokey tool hurts. Now, I have all the um, these uh, All Things Fabulous flowers and then I have the leaves and look like normal leaves. Well, I come in and I take my tweezers and I aim it from the point of it to the point of it and then I just twist it and that moved on me so and it just gives it a bit of depth it's not just laying there straight it has it has movement so I will start gluing these on and you just glue them however you see them or putting them on the way you see them it, there's no right or wrong and oh I took old olive card stop and I used my sprig punch and I cut out two and then I chopped each one up um, they don't need they don't need to be this long okay it's this one over here see how much longer there's two extra down here they don't need to be all that long because you're putting them underneath something so you want to um, have not a lot underneath so I just cut them off and I take my tweezers, oh, hold it this way, and then I glue it with my small, so I'm not using a lot of glue, I'm just basically tacking it. And now I'm going to put the this one and I'm just putting it in the very center because then I can um, move it around and the if I have more leaves they can go underneath it along the edge without a problem oops this is the one I want. I don't know if you see the difference in the leaves, but they're just, they just add a bit of depth, which I love. And then they go underneath. See, isn't that cool? And then I'm aiming this in a different direction because, yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, struggling with my glasses. I need to go to the optometrist and get them tightened up so that they actually stay up where they're supposed to so I can see what I'm doing because they have a tendency to fall down on me all the time. It's kind of challenging to do anything now. 
Okay, and I'm putting these, I punched them out, and then I took my take your pick tool, this and the round ball, and I put these in my hand and I rolled them. And they roll up and then they have dimension. Okay, where'd I do it? I have two take your pick tools because it's just easier for me. Uh, I have the one always set up for this and I have it always set up for that. Now I could turn it around and use the smaller end, but I find that I use the bigger end most of the time. So it's basically always set up for me. And this one, I have my uh, putty end here, which I constantly use, and my pokey tool there, which I constantly use. Like I, I'm always using them, which is fabulous. I just love the, the tool. I find it so helpful. Now I'm going to stick this underneath the heart and then I'm going to attach this over top of it but the the glue is still only in the center. Oops. Now I'm going to, oops. I'm going to put two down and hold them at the same time. This one's probably already stuck. Now I'm going to keep filling in. You have all these um, leaves and sprig pieces that I sh should have done with a smaller one, but it worked out okay, surprisingly. There. So how's everybody today? You enjoying the weather in the winter time I just don't go out unless I have to get groceries or something like that I just don't go out I just I don't like the cold I've said this many many times <laughs> I sound like a broken record I don't like the cold I really truly don't like being cold getting cold being out in the cold anymore I notice it so bad that it just, yeah, not something I enjoy. But kids love it, and I love watching them play outside. It's just I don't want to be out there with them. But I love watching them. I wish I could watch them do more stuff but there's only so much that I can see <laughs> oopsie that wasn't what I wanted to do see with only gluing the center of the flower you've got the outsides that uh, are up so you can put these down wherever and you don't have a problem with them you can go back in and fill it in it makes it very nice to be able to do that So what's everybody up to today? Are you uh, working? Are you making cards? Are you enjoying the, your craftiness? 
because I sure enjoy when I can craft. Doesn't happen every day. This is the reason I wanted to have everything done ahead of time because it takes so much time to put it all together that I didn't want to waste your time watching me do everything. I do love this small little glue bottle. I filled it with the multi-purpose liquid glue and oh it works so well. I love it for getting in those little tiny areas. And I love the multi-purpose liquid glue. It's such a good glue. It stay sticks. Okay now if you find that the you want to cut this down and you've only got a spot for say two leaves cut them down you can easily cut these and no one would be the wiser And then you just aim them in the direction. See how it fills in there? And then I have this one and I can... And if you don't use them all, that's okay too. Use them, save them for another time. tail off it makes it easier to stick in there so what do you think I have one left and one left and I can put this one I gotta cut it down some color over here there now what I did was I took the basic rhinestones and I'm going to clean up my mess here put that away and get my take your pick tool the putty end because I love this thing. And I'm putting one of these rhinestones in every center of this these flowers. I'm using the, the small ones. And then I took the bigger ones and I put them in the corners. Whoopsie. And I didn't put one down here because it's already got that um, decorating it. So then I took this and I brought it in here and I made sure that it fit and I just put a mini glue dot no a mini dimensional glue dot where's my head at honestly sometimes I think you're not using your brain Cheryl it's not just a hat rack 
It's an actual brain. Use it. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm... This, because this is puff, puff, pop, popped up. Goodness sakes, can't even talk. And I'm going to put it over the edge. I need the dimensional on the end. And the rest, I'm just going to put glue because it's going to be on the flowers that are already lifted up a little bit because of the heart being dimensionaled. I want to make sure that that is attached over there, not on top of the heart. You want to make sure it's onto the card here. And then just like that. And remember, I put um, Winka Stella on these flowers ahead of time so I could work with them. Now, I am taking these beautiful brushed brass butterflies. Say that a few times quickly. It would be challenging. <laughs> now, oh, I don't need that. I took the little one. Yep. Okay, I'm going to take, use my take your pick tool. Stuck to my finger. And I put it in here. Yep, sure I did. It's a rattling here. And then I took this one okay and I put it over here on the heart what do you think aren't these gorgeous I hope that's not shining in the camera for it, for you. So now I'm going to do the center and I'm taking my blushing bride and I'm just Putting this on here. Oh, good for me. And then I have maybe I don't have my flirty flamingo. putting it on there just like that isn't that cute now I don't know who I'm going to be giving this to so I don't know what I want in the center but I'm going to, let's do the envelope and then I can put this all this away gonna do two hearts hopefully they're the same height but I cannot get my head underneath there and see because you wouldn't be able to see and then that's defeating the purpose isn't that cute oh I do love how I did that I think it looks so pretty Now, I'm going to wipe my hands again, make sure that uh, I don't have any ink on them because, yeah, there's ink there. I don't know how I get so much ink on my fingers, but I truly am gifted in that department. There we 
go. Put this inside. So what do you think? They both look the same, basically. There's, there's a little bit of difference. You're going to notice always that you're not going to get it the same, and that's fine. They both look nice. They don't need to be the same because there's more uh, green from the sprig punch down here, and I have spread it out more on this one. Uh, whereas I have more of the green up there and Here I've spread it out a little bit more. So oh my bow. That's what I'm missing. I am This is no, oh, that's um, What is it called? the lace there it is this is scallop lace trim and it is ivory so it matches perfectly so yay and as always I put two on one on each side so it doesn't wiggle back and forth go and now I'm just sticking it in there yeah that looks better now let me see there so now I think I've got it done what do you think Let me know in the comments what you think about this card. If you like it, uh, give me a, th a thumbs up, share the video. That would help me a lot if you shared the video. And just give, tell me, is this something that you will you like? Would you want to make one? Uh, I think it's really pretty. I think this one's going to go to my aunt. I, I think she would just absolutely love it. Um, but anyways, uh, I will be making more Valentine's cards in the future so that I can give to all my family. We have a lot that we give to now. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending part of your day with me, whether it be day, night, whatever, morning. I just so appreciate you spending time with me. And if you could um, just let me know what you would like me to do. Um, if there's a certain card that you would like, or certain stamp set. If I have it, I will make a card for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.